Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Pickle Jar Podcast. So sit back, take a bite, and get ready to dive into that, Brian, for episode 22 of the Pickle Jar Podcast. My name is Ryan Sullivan. Name is Keaton Ashby. Is it? Wonderful. Hello, Keaton. How's it been going? Ah, uh, you know, it do be going like it do. Ah, okay. All right. Um, so I'm just going to want to apologize to everyone, but Keaton's lagging a little bit right now. Um, but as Keaton had just informed me, uh, that won't be an issue coming up here pretty soon, right? Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, well, well, well explain why. Oh, well, uh, wait, is the internet fine? It says your internet uh, connection is unstable. Uh, well, you just lag out every once in a while, and every once in a while your face just freezes, and I can't see you move, but, like, th- oh. they'll, they'll get over it. <laughs> I see. Yeah, you see. <laughs> That's not good. Hopefully it fixes itself. Well, <laughs> I, the, the, the tiny house is coming along, and I will mm-hmm. very soon be living in it. And when I live in it, I can pay for my own internet. And when I do for that, I can... It's tiny. I plug a land cable from the router to the computer in like three feet. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Bing, but, um... Bada, boom. <laughs> so, Keaton, I want to show you really quick. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at that wonderful Just thing. Us your shirt. Yeah. Oh. I, I, what? what? <laughs> I want <laughs> this uh, wonderful. Uh, I want to. I love it so much. I want to take a moment, right, to thank Jack for the wonderful hoodie that she got me for my birthday. Um, I've recently graduated to 19 years old. Um, it, it was it was a wonderful day. Um, oh, Keaton, I don't think I told you or not. Um, huh. So, you, you know the carrot thing? At the Christmas party? Carrots. The, the, at the 2019 oh, Christmas party. Oh, I do know party. about the carrots. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what happened, um, at my Christmas party in 2019, Anthony hides like 50 to 70 carrots all around my house. Uh, him and like five five other people, I find out uh, later. Um, I only found out about Anthony that night. So then another party comes and goes, and um, Anthony does it again. Now, for my birthday party, uh, I see two bananas sitting on the pool table over there. And... I immediately pick them up and I'm like, oh no. And I start frantically looking around because if I see two lone food items that I didn't put there um, at my party, my monkey brain immediately goes, it's like danger. (laughs) Something has gone wrong. So I start um, running around looking and Joseph just goes, oh no, did they do it again? where did anthony go it's like he just left and then um so i'm like i only see these two and then someone goes anthony just left we have to go check the cars so like me and four other people run outside to go check the cars and then when we come back in there are bananas everywhere turns out this time it was keon now point of the story Yeah, uh, which was surprising because initially we blamed Keon for the for the carrot one, but then when it turned out that there was more, it was something that we knew Keon wouldn't be able to pull off, um, just <laughs> simply due to Keon being Keon, right? Um, but <laughs> so my dad comes through, right, and he sees the bananas, and he essentially goes. If I find a single banana tomorrow, none of your friends are ever allowed over here again. <laughs> now, the reason that he kind of blew up like that, um, which I, I'm, I'm, I'm taming it a tad, uh, is because that morning we found a carrot. Oh. Yeah, we found an old 
shriveled up, crinkled little <laughs> baby carrot. It wasn't a baby carrot when uh, it was first found, but it was like this big, initially like a like a full sized carrot, right? And so he he got he got pretty mad about that. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty gross. Yeah. Well, I mean, I understand why he got upset, but um, it's just like it's one of those things where you don't really want your parents getting mad when someone's over. And I mean, like, I understood. I understood yeah. completely. Yeah. I would have done the same exact thing. It's time to die. I forgot I was in the living room. <laughs> uh, that well, clock. I is forgot off. I was living in a room. Oh, okay. Uh, do you uh, have any? Do you have any stories like that about like um, like parents blowing up while somebody's over? <laughs> uh, remember your birthday party, Ryan? My birthday at party. My house. Yes, I do. That was um, that one was shown on uh the vlog, um. If I remember correctly, remember what you left at my house? Y yes. Wait, what I left? Oh, oh, um, <clears throat> Mr. Ryan decided to leave a great present for the rest of us. This game is a is an interesting game. It's a uh, we were we we're playing it at the house in a. It, it may or may not have been a little bit inappropriate. It was what do you meme? It was it was what do you meme, which I uh, probably most people watching this kind of know what that is. Yeah. It's a little bit like apples to apples, cards against humanity. Um, but uh, basically, it has like a meme picture, like a reaction image, and then a uh, caption for the meme. And uh, you yeah. put down captions, whichever one's the best. A couple of them are pretty are, inappropriate. Yeah. And, um, Some I of those were left out. Mm. And my pet, so my parents come home because they went out uh, that night so we could mm. all have fun. It was left there. Mm. We were playing it when they came home, and Wesley would not stop. And he kept going, and then he finally shut up because he was about to say something really bad. But after that, um, yeah, uh, they were. My dad was looking through the game the next day, and he was like, "What the crap is this?" So, yeah, Heidi kind of took the blame for that, though, uh, because okay. it was her idea, and she uh, was the older one. So, boom, taking one for the team. That's always very good. Um, oh man, I'm trying to think of times that I've like really lost my temper. Um, ah. what are you thinking of of an example uh i, I uh, for you or for me because well, i, I mean, either or i can think of the only time i ever saw you like i've i've only heard about you losing your temper like in public once um and that was uh one night at the bistro uh that gina told me about Oh, um, but other yeah. than that, the only time that I've like genuinely seen you lose your temper in public was when we were at Bush Gardens. Oh yeah, that was that, that was pretty bad. But yeah, I ooh, I I used to have really bad anger issues. Yeah, you you. It seems like you've been uh, curbing that a bit. Yeah, I, I've I've been working to improve it a lot. Mm. I don't get angry as much anymore, and it normally tends to come out when I play video games mm -hmm. or I'm driving. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the big one. Uh, I just get people on the road are so stupid. Yeah, they like, are. I, 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 yeah, I they understand are. Because uh, so here's the thing. What I what I try and think to um, to alleviate any road rage, um, like if I'm in the car with my, ball. Dad, with my dad and he's driving um, and uh, someone does something stupid on the road, not something stupid, but just something that he doesn't agree with. And it's literally something that maybe he had done in the past, like, 20 minutes. And I'm just like, you just did that same thing. It's like, well, they shouldn't be doing it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so I try, whenever I get road rage, I'm like, have I done this before? <laughs> and if yeah. I have done it before, I forgive them. <laughs> but if I haven't done it before, then I'm just like, what are you doing? 
going? Uh, I yeah, they they're gonna feel so threatened when they see a Prius coming <laughs> behind them. Prius covered in duct tape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um it, yeah, I I still haven't gotten it fixed, but um, oh should probably get on that. Um, but uh, like, even even just today, um, I. I wait for people now because, like, I I don't want even if I uh if there's plenty of time for me to get by, I I tend to wait a lot more often now yeah. because uh, I'm a little bit gun shy from my accident, um, and uh when when I wait, I have realized. So many people don't use their turn signals. No, people don't use their turn well, signals. It's I, horrible. I legitimately don't be, don't believe or don't understand why. Like it's, it's old people, dude. It's so, no, it's not. I look at the people in the cars, and it generally, it's like Gen X millennials. Like it's it's like forty and below. That's pretty bad. And and it's, they're all like so often they will not have their turn signal on, and I just get so like just unadulterated rage just comes up, and I I'm just like I'm gonna kill this person, like I'm I'm gonna follow in the them. Prius. It's like in the so Prius. What, what do I? What if I just follow them to their house? Or follow them and to wherever the they're going, and then I, I just I just grab whatever I have in my um my glove. You box. run let's, them over with see. the Prius. Some McDonald's napkins. No, I'm not gonna run over them with the Prius. But <laughs> I, 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 it's it's sometimes you just get such bad road rage that you have like this power fantasy because you're in a you're in a vehicle, and for some reason it your, vehicle is a weapon your vision yeah it's it's a weapon and your vision is so clouded like yeah they're in a vehicle too ryan but you know um and it's just i just want to follow them and then but of course like it's something i'd never do but you know the the, the intrusive thoughts yes. always flash through your head I like, do that every 15 like, minutes i'm um, gonna follow them and uh, i'm gonna <laughs> kill them <laughs> Um, no, but like, it's, I don't understand. I don't understand. And I, it's, it's yeah. just a sort of thing where I'm like, okay, I'm calm now. And then they'll do it again. Not five minutes later. And I'm just like, bro, bro. Like there is, there is no excuse for this. And that's when you hope for the police to pull them over and write yeah. them like a, yeah, two hundred and fifty dollar ticket. Oh, for not I, using a turn. I signal. almost, I almost. Who did I almost call the police on the other day? Dang, that's pretty bad, man. Oh, there was someone that cut in front of me, at at uh in in Publix, right? I was I was on my way to Tropical Smoothie, on my way to get myself a smoothie and a Caribbean jerk chicken wrap, right? Uh, which are sure the bomb, by the way, phenomenal. The Bomba, um, huh? The what? The bomba? I don't know the bomba. what the bomba is. The bomba. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, like, Obamba? Like, is that that way? <laughs> I I don't know what. Let's just move past this. Okay, so I'm I'm in the public's parking lot, and there there I am, and the guy pulls out in front of me, um, cuts me off, like. This is this is a two lane um, parking lot, right? And he goes he goes yeah. around me, uh, and then pulls in to the handicap parking spot, and does not have a handicap sticker, doesn't have the thing on their license plate or anything. Mm. And I'm maybe just like, you should make them handicap after that. <laughs> yeah, with with what with what? What am I gonna do? And pull out a gun and shoot him in the leg, kneecap. I don't have one. In, in, the, hey, in the car. Hey, in the state of Texas, I'm pretty sure they just passed that you don't need a concealed carry license to carry. I heard again. about that. I heard <laughs> about that. Uh, I, I, you know, I wonder. I wonder if in open carry states, like road rage, isn't as bad, because. I well, I don't know. The the, the driving here is different because the speed limit's 75 wherever you go. Oh. <laughs> so it's kind of like you go or you die. 
Oh, okay. Well, that, that's that's good to know. Yeah, that is good to know. Everybody's um, respectful, though. <laughs> no, but like the things that you think of. It's the place the you have season to worry about. There, you have old cranky oh, people. Oh, you yeah. got terrible. It's terrible. What happened? Please tell me, man. I was there, you, you know, I, I was there you, in March and I saw the beginnings and I was like, You nah. don't understand. This island is going to capsize. They're still not leaving. They're, They're still, still not here. gone? How? In fact, in fact, um, yeah, how many jobs did you book today? Six. For June. Are those family portraits, weddings, or what? Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. What in the world? And he usually does nothing in August. August is like the second most dead month. People go home. September. People aren't going home. There is like, um, I was, so I was listening to, um, I am podcasting. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted your input on that since you were right there. Um, take some cough drops. <laughs> yeah, he just got back from China. He's fine. Um, <laughs> um, but um, oh, where was I? So I was just listening to an episode of the Joe Rogan, Tom Segura podcast, right? Um, this was Joe Rogan experience with Tom Segura on it. And there, Joe Rogan recently moved his entire operation to Austin, right? And mm. um, apparently, like 1,500 people were moving to Florida permanently per day. And like New York. Oh, that's because is, it's free. New York is like a ghost town, apparently. That's because it's not free. So all all these like. Even even not thinking about that, even even not thinking about like the difference in the draconian regulations, right? For people living in a big city that that think that these regulations are are right, like think that yeah, we should all um, be forced to wear wear masks because whatever whatever their views are on it, forced. It's it's. It's, it's I'm 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 saying for for the people who believe that who live in these big cities, they must think too. It's like I want to go somewhere with less people, um, and it's a bonus that there's um that there's not just wide open spaces both in here in Texas. Uh, yeah. There there's so many new permanent residents moving to both places. California is dying because they're actually um, they've That's got great. fourteen thousand homeless people in L.A. Um, and yeah, pretty bad. Uh, which is up like uh, two hundred percent since uh, before the pandemic, and um, it's just like, and then they bring their. The stupid butt driving down here. <laughs> yeah. And it's, oh, what, man. What's your what's your most recent example of kind of like just doesn't have to be road rage, but just getting like really angry. Uh, oh, working at the daycare is Are we calling it the daycare today? <laughs> yeah, the daycare okay. is like one of the most like Infuriating things. Well, I'd assume that the clients probably aren't very easy to work with. Yeah, well, okay, it depends. Mm. Some of the clients at the daycare are a different type of client, so they have to be separated. They, they understand that they need to respect the um the employees, the staff. No. Oh. They just got into the daycare. Okay, so the new new clients are yes. worse or they just got into the daycare and they're in their diapers essentially oh. just the diapers oh. I, so I, i'm trying to use more code words bro okay. like, well, <laughs> essentially well okay well okay in the daycare if clients come in and they get asked a certain amount of questions and it's a check mark on one of those questions they get put in a diaper in a single area in the daycare where they're separated and they have to be watched and supervised oh so 
everything's all right and nothing or no one gets hurt. Uh, Therefore, in the, in the in the general in the common area of the daycare, in the common area, the people are uh, fine. But these people in the daycare cry, complain. When am I going to see the doctor? Can I see the doctor? Can I see other types of doctors? Can you give me this? Give me that? No, no, no. What are like, they... shut up. I don't give a crap. Are they all asking for proctologists? What? <laughs> <laughs> They're ask, they're asking to get their diapers removed and moved into the regular put a daycare, but it takes like okay. ugh. when they come in the daycare, they have to be on quarantine for fourteen weeks before they can move into fourteen regular, weeks, or I mean pff, fourteen days before they oh, can okay. move into regular daycare. I so, see. Yeah, so it's just like mm. ugh, like they they're infuriating. Mm. Some of them get out of the daycare fast though because they just went in, so. You know, it's just annoying to yeah, deal with. I am. I imagine. Have Have you blown up on anyone? Like, in oh there? yeah, oh yeah. Can, I yell at them. Can you tell me, like, what the time you got most upset? Give me as many details as you can without revealing too much. Or can you not um, do that? So there is this. There was just a client at the daycare that was really pissing me off one day. Uh -huh. And then he kept like saying, he was like, he kept saying he was talking crap to me at the daycare and stuff. So, uh, and as I, an employee, you demand your respect. <laughs> yes. So I, every time I went in there, I kept slamming the door in his face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nifty. Um, and they're heavy doors too. So you go, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. to just put the, put the fear of God in them. It's, it's the best way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be like, if you, we're going to have to go get the milk bottle. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> I think um, if you were to ask uh, people, well, specifically if you were to ask Wesley, the time mm -hmm. that I have been most upset was one time in McDonald's on a mission trip. Um, this was with... Of course a, it was at a McDonald's. This was with a certain person that we all know and love. Um, uh, are we sure about that? That we all know. Um, and uh, so she was being a hypocrite. Um, and she was just saying things that weren't true. Now she's much oh. better now. She is much better now, um, and and I'm very proud of all the progress that she has made. But back then, <clears throat> it was I don't know exactly what she said that set me off. Oh, you let but us know. I I just I got up and walked out. That's that's the only time. Oh, I've, I've actually heard about this story. Yeah, that's the I think that's the only time that I've gotten so angry at someone that I just got up and left and didn't want to see them in order to just alleviate any issues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, that's that's a that's a good way how to respond. It's just leave it alone. Now, it's something that I always say there are two things that Ryan hates. Ryan hates hypocrites and people who talk in the third person. Thank you for laughing. <laughs> um, so, oh, yeah. So there's there's this there's this specific example that I'm thinking of. So in seventh grade, right? Seventh grade, Watch it our now. math teacher, she left halfway through the year. Um, she she got a new job somewhere or something like that. Uh, she was very nice. She was a very good, good teacher. And then for two weeks, for two weeks, right? Um, we have a fill-in substitute. 
uh, who is there until we get a new math teacher. All right, all right. And I'm going to give her a fake name because I don't want to release her name. Um, we'll we'll say Miss Johnson. And she so she had like this cast on her arm, and whenever she was teaching, she would just go like this on the board, um, and like like you know you know in um in Young Frankenstein. I think it is the um no. the one guy the one uh uh police officer guy the one police officer guy who um his arms were like stuck like this and he just goes like and every time he moves no oh, okay. I, I'll no. I'll throw a clip of it right right now just boom There it was. Wow, um, that was so great, like, amazing. <laughs> so it, it, ugh, it, so that was one thing that just it was annoying to watch because she flailed around. She like because just she <laughs> always just had jerked <laughs> movements, and then she constantly talked to us like we were younger than than seventh grade, like like we were like fourth or fifth graders. Like I was ex or not not younger than that actually. Like it's because like you acted like grade. one. No, no, no. Well, I I mean, <laughs> we acted like seventh graders. Should have treated us like seventh graders. Which I mean, a lot of seventh graders are complete morons. Um, and maybe I'll tell some wow. stories about how when uh s some of the children watching this have just made me pissed. But um, the. The main thing that set me off was that she always said, oh, <laughs> censor, censor. <laughs> Miss Johnson really doesn't like it when you do this. Miss Johnson is very angry at that or all those sorts of things. And just, she's, she said it so often. Um, and it's just... She's like, always Shut speaking up. in the third person and it just set me off so much because anyway i'm ranting but yeah yeah i understand mm -hmm. yeah i i definitely uh i definitely have a temper when i blow mm -hmm. um i've broken things before Ooh, i punched things beat have things. you ever have you ever punched anyone have i hit anyone yeah like out of anger yeah no, not out of anger. No, not out of anger, just because you felt like it. Well, I mean, during football, it doesn't really count. Like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, football is a very, very violent sport, just by design. Yeah, but I got and hit, and it made me angry, and I, you know, I gave a little mm, right up the pads and into the stomach. It worked. I see. But normally, you try to get their ribs, break mm -hmm. a rib, start punching it. I see. Just don't get caught. Uh. <laughs> Well, like, man. Oh, what? About oh, there's one person who I had out of anger during oh. football, though, and I intentionally dug my helmet underneath his. Oh no! Shoulder pads. What do you want to? Do you do you want to uh, tell the no, story of that? No. Uh, oh, okay. This. Uh, it's too obvious. So. Oh, okay. I I can assume. I can assume. Uh, just knowing. Um. Yeah, it happened. You. It happened junior year. If that. Yeah. So. <laughs> you 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 got it. You nailed I got it. it. I got it. Beautiful. Anyway. Anyway. How about the jalapeno poppers? What? 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 Oh, actually, that reminded me of a time that um, that my dad actually blew up um, <laughs> uh, when you said jalapenos. Oh, watch so, it there. We don't want to hear about blowing up that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Um, well, I mean, technically, um, <laughs> technically. OK, we'll we'll get to the we'll get to the rest of that story. Um, 
So I, I can name drop this place because they're not opened anymore. Have you ever heard, there used to be a Mexican restaurant on the island called Amigos. Never heard of it. So Amigos was a Mexican restaurant on the island, right? Nothing. Anyway, so we're Nothing. in the middle of, um, we're, in, we're in Amigos, right? And um, I've never had a good tolerance for spicy foods. Now, I was like five years old, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't remember what it was that I got. But um, I want, it was like a taco or burrito or something. And Good. My, my parents were very specific. No jalapenos, no nothing spicy. It's like, you can't handle it, right? <laughs> and then I take a bite into it. And like I chew, swallow, and I'm like, I just start bawling my eyes out. It was this, it was probably... Uh, look, looking back, it was probably it was definitely the spiciest thing I'd ever tasted at that point up into my life. Probably one of the spicier things that I've ever tasted. Because um, wow, like you must have I, not had much of anything then. I, I I think that it had like some like hot sauce on it too. Um, it, it was I, I just remember it being extremely spicy, at least for me. Because um, mind you, five years old, um, and then I ran. And um, uh, t and I think my dad took me in, into the bathroom, and I threw up all over the um, the bathroom floor and like over the urinal and stuff like that. Ugh. Um, and then I um, yeah, what was it that you said to um the waiter? Uh, and uh, just wa watch watch language as well. <laughs> it, do you want to come over here and tell it? Okay, my dad's gonna come over here and tell it. Yes. Am I am I telling it completely wrong? Okay. <laughs> here. You, you suck. You wanna, Ryan. you wanna sit down next to me and I'll give you the mic and you can tell tell the story. Oh, we're gonna see Daisy. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here. Here's the microphone. Here. Yes. Speak into the mic if if you would. <laughs> She's going okay, crazy. so we're going to tell the jalapeno story. The jalapeno story at Amigos, at Amigos yeah. <laughs> okay, to begin with, uh, we used to go in there a lot with him when he was little. Um, and we'd get the guacamole. Guacamole, that's what it was. But we would always make sure they didn't put any jalapenos in it. It'd just be just plain uh, avocado. So he had that probably, I don't know, four or five times before. I remember we went there a lot. Same damn waiter. Um, order it for him and said, make sure, and, you know, go, oh yeah, I know. It comes out, it was loaded with jalapenos and he ate it. And then the rest was pretty much. Mm. What did you say to the waiter afterwards? If, I think if... I'd laughed at him and just, no, I was the, uh, the owner, that real big guy. Oh. Yeah, I'm lucky I didn't get my butt kicked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just kind of laughed at him. I said, yeah. I said, next time uh, you screw up an order, I said, uh, you might want to apologize. I said, by the way, uh, my kid puked all over your bathroom. Have a nice night. And then we walked out. Yeah, we walked out. Hey, nice. You <laughs> you decimated that place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would take him a couple of days to clean that place up. <laughs> and it was a bathroom in a Mexican restaurant. So, you know, that, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Okay. <laughs> that was great. Right, go ahead. Let's continue to drink beer. To fix it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I like doing this in the living room. We can we can get um, interpretations from uh, from other sources. We'll have guest appearances. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's the amigo story. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but he said from the other room, "What a bunch of jerks!" I did hear. <laughs> they and they did go out of business, so it has a happy ending, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff wow. like that. that was, you had, that was, that's um, great. I know. I remember we went to Chili's 
like uh, me and your family, we went to Chili's like, um, I don't remember how long ago this was. I think this was when you first got Max. This is the oh. first time. Oh, the first time that me and you drove up there? Yes. And yes. Max? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And uh, I remember they said something like, you were cursed because they always got the order wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My uh, It's called the, the Ashby curse. Oh. My dad my dad has it. Oh, okay. Because he gets his, uh, his like, orders always are screwed up. Only at Chili's? Or is it no, like... No, it's everywhere. Really? Everywhere he goes, all, all the time his order is screwed up. Mm. Have you have you ever gotten really mad at a restaurant? Or yes. Like, um, do you want to tell tell a story from one of those times? Uh, I feel like it. I mean, I haven't really. That, no, there's not much to tell. I mean, I had a waiter dump a whole thing of Arnold Palmer on my what? On my lap. When was yeah. this? This was at Texas Roadhouse. Oh no! Okay. <sighs> Sitting there, the guy was handing out the drinks, and he goes. Whoop. And, just, mm. and I'm like, that's cold. <laughs> and I was just, I was complaining. I was like, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, you know. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I'm just like, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. Free appetizer. <laughs> you know, um, something that like mildly infuriating things now, instead of just um, like major annoyances and like rage quits. Um, but like <laughs> my poor chair. Oh, you're wait. Tell, tell, tell the story of how you like destroyed your chair and, and my controller and your controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a game. Mortal Kombat. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Mortal Kombat. So essentially when you play Mortal Kombat and you get really angry because you suck at it and you're trying to beat the hardest difficulty on the boss the last boss fight you keep dying mm -hmm. you take your chair you throw it you start beating it i broke the handle both of the handles were broken off the chair broken off oh the handles were broken off the chair yeah the bro yeah now, like what happened to the controller the controller hit the wall oh boom did you dent it oh, i broke it well, what about the wall? Like, uh, uh, I, I've actually had several bumps in my uh, old room on Golfstream from oh. <laughs> beating the wall and punching the wall. Oh, man. But, yeah. But, I um, like, oh, I, I, I rage quit the other night. Well, I actually, I don't know if I can call it rage quit. So I just got the PlayStation VR, right? Okay. All right. All right. Have you ever heard of Super Hot? Oh, I love that game so much. So I was <gasps> moments yes. away from finishing the second level. Oh, right? come on. The, only the second one. I just got the game. I've yeah, had it for it's... a week. <laughs> like like the first it, like, time times. I played it. Was, the first time I played it, I like picked it up and I was just like, <sighs> it's good time. I felt like John Wick. Yeah. Um, so for people who don't know what the game is, there's these red guys trying to kill you. You got to kill them first. You got to punch yeah. them. Gotta stab but every them. time you move, they move. Yeah. So the, fast the faster as they move, that you move. move your hands, the faster that they yeah. move. So you have to go slow motion and be like, yeah. Ooh. And, um, like, and you have you have to time everything very specifically. Yeah. I um, played on the Oculus, though. So mm. I don't know if it was different. Now, what happened um, is every once in a while, my PlayStation has been kicking me out of games and saying that I need to restore my licenses and activate as primary PS4. Okay, who who are you game sharing with right now? Keon. Okay, then he sold his PlayStation, didn't he? He did. You're screwed. Ah. Uh, Try to activate it as primary. Okay. <laughs> as fast as possible. All right. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Um, but, uh... Anyway, back to the story. Yeah, so I it, it I was moments away, moments away from beating it, and then boop, boop, and <laughs> what were you I like was, one was, ninja star away from throwing? <laughs> there was one guy left. There was one guy left, and I had just aimed like, towards him, 
and I had just blocked his bullets because, you know, with the gun, you can break bullets. Yeah, in there. that's oh, um, I love it. I love doing that. You can but, split um, it in two, too, if you like. You can. Ninja Star. Know. Yep, you can huh? split bullets. I did not know that. Yeah. And then they'll go. Mm. But um, any anyway, Back anyway, the... um, it just We're dirtying bloop, out right now. And I just beep, beep, beep. I'm going to bed. And then I went to bed immediately. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Um, but that that was more mildly infuriating than an actual rage quit. Wait, can you play um, multiplayer with VR? I think you can. <gasps> the forest. The forest is not in VR on PlayStation. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, I just saw a pregnant cat walk by. Okay. Um, but mildly infuriating things. Yeah, that's pretty bad. When you ask for unsweet tea. And, you get and they bring tea. you sweet tea. Well, that's the only thing people drink here is sweet tea. So no. if you don't drink sweet tea, you're not you're not allowed I, to live here. I don't like sweet tea. I mean, like, I'll drink sweet tea. If it has like about like that much sugar in it, then it's good. It is. But if it's sweet, like, I, I I love unsweet tea. I love regular tea. Um, iced iced tea. Iced, but oh. a sweet Phew. tea. It's because it's like the same thing when you order um, a, a diet soda and you get a regular one or you order a specific soda and it's not the one you ordered. And yeah. even though you would usually like that soda, it's, it's just, not the one you want. It's, no, it's not just it's not the one you wanted. It catches you so off guard because you weren't expecting to taste that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? True. Like you, know you, get, you order Coke and you got a root beer and you're just like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it scares you. It almost scares you in a way. Um, and then it just ends up being like, a okay, let's not be a pansy now. Well, not like, ah! like, not like that. <laughs> like, I, I'm just saying, it's like, ah, <laughs> it's, what was that? <laughs> this is Coke and not Sprite. <laughs> well, that sounds like a you problem if you weren't able to realize that. Like, I'm saying, like, Dr. Pepper and Coke, or like root beer and Coke, or like. This is Coke and not Sprite. <laughs> or Diet Coke and regular Coke or something. Yeah, boop. Okay. Wow. You know what wow. I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to think I... of other, like, mildly infuriating things. Ooh. So, Ugh, for the McDonald's. ghost tour. Yeah, it's it is mildly just the whole thing about it. Yeah. Oh man. So you know how most McDonald's locations have put in a second drive-through now? Yes. So essentially, today I'm at McDonald's. Um, I'm getting a double quarter pounder uh, with cheese, no bun, light on the ketchup, with a black iced coffee, and um, <laughs> which they always give me a hot, and I'm just like, I want it. I don't, I don't want this. Yeah, I want ice. I said, I said yeah. iced. And I always say iced, um, black iced coffee. I will say iced like as many times as I can. I'm like, that is an iced coffee, right? Because also the screen doesn't work at McDonald's anymore. So that's also. Oh, good. my goodness. Um, How could you live in such a place but have now, such a broken McDonald's? Every once in a while, the second lane is closed. Actually, very often. I yeah, that's very that often. They, they, they close it after six. But today, there is a line wrapping almost completely around McDonald's, right? There's like 10 cars in line. And then. Sir, we're I'm going like, as fast as we can. And there's like three people behind me at this point. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I could have just went in. So then I pull around. I was figuring that the reason there was no one in the second lane was because it was closed. It was not closed. It, so I was the first person to go into that second lane over probably what I'm assuming is like the course of like 20 minutes. You're a pioneer. I'm a pioneer. And like three people pulled in behind me. Um, <laughs> I, I must I must have made some people's day. Uh, and, and I feel good about myself. Um, wow. <laughs> But um, wow. and just that's mm. that's breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, man. I think, <laughs> I think, cutting out like soda, 
and cutting out like getting like full meals at McDonald's was probably what contributed the most to my weight loss like journey like overall yeah. like from beginning to end oh speaking of weight loss I'm on something else right now what are you on my you job doing? is making me lose weight is it making like lose I, weight like like I started my job at 225 I weigh 210 right now wow hey. yeah <laughs> and you've got a lot of muscle too so that's that's like really good yeah it, it I don't looks, know. It if looks I'm... like your your cheekbones are a little bit more defined. Your jaw yeah. lines. Are I I still always ha will have my double chin though. Mm. That will never go away. But yeah, I'm getting skinny. Like I look in the mirror and my boobs are almost gone. <laughs> I'm like, what is this, man? Yeah, I oh man, I I wish I was at um at the point I was a few months ago. Um, because I I kind I I let my. I mean, you still look open. great. Yeah. So well. Um, I, I, I see it differently too, because I mean, I'm at the point where my extra skin is gone. Oh, my extra skin is gone. I oh. just look a little bit overweight now. Um, That's good for people who are meeting me for the first time. I'm just a little chubby. Right. Um, yeah. And it doesn't look like I definitely not anymore. two years ago. It just, yeah, no, I was like, um, I was like the, you know, the pig from Chicken Little? Yeah. Like that. That was me. Oi. Um, <laughs> Oink. Like, I think <laughs> the, the glow ups that have taken place. Oh, I, I am here for them. And glow it's it, that's that's something that I really like about being done with high school now. Um, Looking back and like seeing people. Uh, Watching your time, vlogs. Yeah. Oh, it's man. scary dude i watched I, it was raining really hard oh. yesterday and like it was like it reminded me of irma so i uh so i watched the hurricane vlog and what are you doing oh it's totally gone through his back oh yeah. cool anyway i wa i watched i watched <laughs> i watched the hurricane irma vlog uh -huh. and i could not tell you i was like oh oh man yeah i was like oh Oh, Who man. is that kid? Wait, I'm gonna. Pull and then up I a went picture. back farther. I'm gonna pull up a picture um, that Heidi sent me a while ago of you. Yeah, can you pull restaurant. up like? We should have like the That's... worst pictures of the yeah. both of us. Oh man, like I, how I like, far we've come. <laughs> I like the one with uh, of us when we got uh, when Dollar General first opened. Oh, and we got the Remember Sprite that? bottles and the Sprite bottles. That's oh, gonna be up here right now, and we're cheersing them together. And yeah. uh, it says drunks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a great oh, moment wait, in life. Wait, Keaton, don't pick up your phone. Call Keaton Ashby. Nah, my supervisor's at the daycare. Called my phone. And listen to my voicemail, and my what did they say? My higher supervisor was like, "How freaking old were you?" <laughs> and I'm and like, "I remember, I remember when we were we so we Keaton I remember we filming this. His, I remember recording um, this his thing back when he, I I was a freshman, right?" Uh, like we were we were on Tahiti. We were at Tahiti. Oh, Battlefield. She didn't leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi, this is Keaton. Right now, leave a message after the beep. Now, mind you, the reason we re-recorded that is because was... everyone was making fun of you because your voice mail was so old and you sounded so young in it and it was like hi this is you right now i'll leave the message after the beep and then, and then there was yeah that, that was pretty bad man th i got was... i got <sighs> i like i want to change my voice film but then again i don't want to yeah well that that was also back when the windows xp memes were really popular yeah so, um so, <laughs> so the and like, like i i I had so many Windows XP sound effects in my old YouTube videos. It's hilarious. Um, oh, I made a, I made a meme today at work. Um, yeah, I know. Fantastic. Uh, so essentially, I, I I picked a piece from a sermon, 
um and it was like uh the they were talking about it's like want to go to that place where you can have a one-on-one with god and like blah 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 blah, you know um it's like and then they go it's like there's a place where you can go and then so that was the first part of it and then it goes into the cheers theme so it just goes um there's a place where you can go where everybody knows your name I don't know, man. Funny. You don't? No, I don't. You never seen Cheers? No. Really? You have never seen like too... a Cheers parody either? I'm too young. Oh man, come on! What's wrong with you? Shut You're up! Like... We're born in the same year. Yeah, but still, like, I know what Cheers is. Okay. I mean, there's no excuse. But okay, you know what? Maybe it's because um, I'm when sorry. is Cheers on air? long time ago maybe it's because 80s okay maybe it's yeah because my okay. parents are from a different generation i actually know what it is <laughs> than my parents yeah because your yeah parents my parents were in, teenagers in, their, in the 80s yeah, your, your parents are in their 40s um <laughs> so um yeah qu- quite 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 the quite the difference um yeah there's a there's about a 20 year old a 20 year gap yeah um but yeah (laughs) that's funny oh man oh i i just can't like like watching those vlogs just made me like cringe so badly yeah i know i think that's why i wanted to start him back up again not because of cringe but because be like okay it did get better capsule i like yeah it's 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 a time capsule you can watch it with your kids yeah like um can you turn that back on Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I'm using that for light. Uh, um, it it didn't turn on. What your lighting looks fine. Oh, okay, um, it's it's fine. Um, but um, time capsule. Yeah, it's, ti- so, <laughs> it's it's like a time capsule, um, and I just. I there there are so many pieces of like the past like few years that are just undocumented. Yeah, I know. Undocumented I, with the vlogs, like but um, so much has happened though. The the most recently recorded vlog, I believe, is December twenty eighteen. Dang. Yeah. That's and I I stopped recording that and I edited that and uploaded it. Um. And be- the reason I stopped recording that vlog was because my grandpa died. Mm-hmm. Um, and I-, I didn't really want to go back into vlog- vlogging for a little bit after that. I wanted to take a quick break. And then just things just progressively went downhill. Um, I-, I, lo- I lost friends that year too. People who were in the vlogs who weren't going to be in them anymore. Mm-hmm. Um and or or i had vlogs already recorded that those people were in that it would have been really weird to upload those when i wasn't even talking to that person anymore um so 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 many things like that and then um then uh just as i am starting the vlog back up again i started back up actually august of senior year i have vlogs recorded from all the way up until November. Um, and then my grandma died. Uh, and then less than a month later, my mom died. And it's it's been so long that I forget how to do the vlogs. And I miss not having those things because yeah, you can look at the, not just the progress in how you look. Because mm-hmm. like, I mean, in the time since the vlog um began began to when the vlog ended i have ch- in to in, during the break season because i started my diet august of 2019 right right mm-hmm. yeah august 13th 2019 was when the diet began dang it's um, 2021 
Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, Ryan. 2020 was such a blur, right? Life goes by so fast. It does go by, and it keeps going by quicker. And I, I, I feel like the past five months have gone by a little bit slower than these five months did compared to the last one. Because, I mean, if I'm being honest, like, um, people were all saying about being in that COVID fog where everything just seemed like everything was just dragging during. And then Mm -hmm. it just, um, it feels like we lost, like, March and April. Yeah, I feel like I lost, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's just a huge Mm -hmm. sense of loss and that nothing is Mm -hmm. how it was going to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, on top of that, too, mostly everyone lost March and April. And March and April was just a blur. Just went by, like, the speed of light. I'd already been feeling that since Christmas. So, like, January, February, hi, Daisy, March, April, May. Like, all of them. Just say, say, hi, yeah. say hi to the camera. Uh, <laughs> don't you just love puppies? I do. Da- Daisy has been going through the glow up. I mean, let's put up some pictures of Daisy right now. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, my little turd is out there barking. Oh, yeah. Oh, can we? Sh- so, Ryan, put up some pictures of Keith. I will there. send a picture of Oakley. Yeah. Send, send some. H- how old is Oakley? She's a couple months. I don't know. Oh, very nice. I think she's like three months. Daisy, maybe. you're on the internet. Say hello to the people. Say hello. Say something. Can you hear her? Right. She yeah, she anything? just went. She just went. <laughs> Very nice. That's glorious. But yeah, but uh, just uh, these vlogs are just. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, tonight tonight feels a little bit more like a bite size because we've had some interruptions. But yeah, like, it, it sounds uh, great. The, uh, I like. We're just, the we're just letting like it flow the, uh, because it, it it's been a while since we've recorded a full episode. Yeah. I mean, like we've we've been. We've been being somewhat good about the bite-sized. Um, we've done two, and we've supposed to have been done three. But I mean, like uh, uh, this one. This, this I mean, this should pro- actually. This one won't be going up. This is Thursday. It'll probably be going up Friday. Um, That's I, okay. I won't have time. <laughs> yeah. I, I I would just won't. Right, Dave. I'm supposed to be off this weekend. Oh. But I have to work Friday and Sunday. Oh, they have overtime? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I am... I'm going to Tampa um, in two weeks. Oh. For a for... church conference for work. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so it should be fun. So 23rd through the 30th, I might be doing Destination Podcast. I'll bring, I'll bring all my equipment with me because um, the podcast studio is now mobile. If I wanted if I wanted to do this in the car, I could. I could just go park somewhere. <gasps> park and pod. Mm. Oh, wait. Then I wouldn't have Wi-Fi. That's, that's, uh... Hotspot on your phone. My phone doesn't have a hotspot. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. That's weird. Yeah. You know, you know what I want to do? Yikes. What do you want to do? Um, next full episode, we should do an episode with Anthony again. We should do an episode where you come to Texas. I would love that, too. I would love that, too. Daisy, quit fighting me. But I, I, that would be very fun. Yeah. What, so if I were to come to Texas, what would be ideal time? Uh, whenever I finish the cabin. Cause then we could we can snuggle together in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> and we could film like fifty episodes. <laughs> oh, so I now podcasting things. Uh, since I'm going to South Africa in July, um, mm-hmm. I don't know how long I'm going to be in South Africa. Oh. Um, so I'm wondering. 
if so actually i had someone contact me today who wants to be interviewed um oh again he wants to be interviewed again um but because <laughs> he has an album coming out um <sighs> James has another album coming out uh, to be on the podcast again um, by August, uh, and kind of want to make that our. I'm doing this in my room next time. <laughs> There's too much going on out here. It's um, fine, but maybe it'll be clean by then. Um, but yeah, so I want to do that. It should be fun and and exciting. Yeah, so I think we should do another Anthony episode. We're gonna do Me another. Too. Another James episode. The, Z- um, the Zoomers. We'll do a Zoomer episode. Oh. Well, I want to see about doing the Anthony episode. Uh, me and him at Venture X. And then you where you are. Yes, that sounds amazing. I have. I now have a key fob that I can get in there and actually record the podcasts. Oh, by the way, if anyone wants to start a podcast, um, contact uh, us at the pickle jar podcast at gmail.com and I'll get you set up somewhere where your podcast is going to be better set up than ours because um, <laughs> I mean uh, the microphone I'm using is for a drum set the microphone you are using was $30 that I got off of Amazon um, my um, my camera that I'm using is an an HD webcam that I was gifted um, by a person in eighth grade who shall remain nameless. Um, and then, are you just using the the camera yep. on the computer? Yep. Yeah. Um, now, if you want to do an audio only, oh, highly recommend going through VentureX. I can give you all the details about seeing about doing that. It's it's reasonable, and they use all the same stuff that Joe Rogan uses. Yeah. No, okay. So some serious business. They though. haven't given me a script yet. Um, but th- this is just another part of me just coming into myself and becoming the person that I I I kind of wanted to be about doing these odd jobs and stuff. Um, odd but job. like odd job, like the guy with that's the your name. Hand. That's yeah. your name. Odd um, job. But um, <laughs> oh, after the podcast, I've got a story for you about a yes. odd job that did not work out. Um, yes, which we're we're working up to the end of this um, here. We're we're get, we're getting there. Yeah, um, it's it's about eight oh eight right now. Yeah. It's been an hour since we came back after the the latency issues. Um, mm-hmm. But um, essentially, what VentureX is, it's a co working space. It's an opportunity. Right? Well, not it's so uh, actually a little bit about them. It is beautiful in there. And they've got boardrooms that you can do meetings in there. They've got cubicles. They've got like private offices with oh. a view too. Oh, and you can see the beach from from there. It's it's oh. over like it's it's just before Pine Ridge after um after uh, Coastland Mall. Dang, it That's is some serious business. It is so nice in there. Um, which um maybe i can throw up some b-reel that i took uh from when i was actually trying to vlog um when i went there last week um to help someone with their podcast that they're that they want to start up um basically uh if you want to start a podcast um you can just contact venture x and they'll have me come and help you (laughs) um it's it's a it's a really it's a really good deal because um I know what I'm doing. I just don't always do it for my own stuff. Um, <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I've appeared on another podcast since the last time we've spoken, Keaton. Oh, who's? Uh, the next for work. Oh, awesome. So the did you promote? Time, no, I didn't. Unfortunately, <sighs> I couldn't. Um, when because all I did was I did voiceover, intro and outro. Um, so what we do there is they had um, Jordan and Eric have regular episodes where they'll talk amongst themselves or they'll have guests on there. Like they had Eddie James um, on, on there who Eddie James worked with Kirk Franklin. Um, 
and made a bunch of music it featured on a bunch mm-hmm. of kirk franklin songs um and then like ted shuttlesworth um chris michelson um tons of people like that and then since they started doing the next lives um they will put the sermons from the 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 live um services onto the podcast now this one specific um sermon it was actually four consecutive sermons from four different speakers each of them were 15 Mm. minutes long Mm. usually the podcast is about a half hour 45 minutes at most um Mm -hmm. so this one was going to be a little bit over an hour so um faith who is jordan's sister um she kind of like even though the next was jordan and eric's idea she kind of runs it (laughs) um but uh she asked if Jordan and Eric could film like a little bumper um, for the end. It's like, guys, we got a special episode for you today. Um, and but yada, yada, yada. So Eric yeah. was supposed to record the beginning. Jordan was supposed to record the end. And they tried to record it like six times, right? <laughs> like these guys have 20, 20 plus episodes, like over, over, um, over 14 hours of content currently released. And they've both, and I, Jordan has appeared on live TV like multiple times. They could not get this for the life of them. I don't know what was going on. So I'm just like, let me in here. So <laughs> I just go, it's like, hello, next family. Welcome back to a very special episode of the next podcast. We've got a very special episode for you guys today because for the first time in next history on next live, we had four consecutive sermons from four consecutive speakers. These are their names, yada, yada, yada. Let's jump right into it. One take. <laughs> and then I did the outro one take and it's like, well, we're using that. So I'm on the next podcast now. Hello and welcome back to a very special episode of The Next Podcast. We've got something a little bit different for you today because for the first time ever on Next Live, we had four consecutive sermons from four speakers, Niall, Taylor, Jade, and Shantae. This is going to be a little bit longer of an episode than usual, but I think you guys are going to love it. Let's jump right in. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of The Next. Be sure, before you go anywhere, to follow us at the NXT.TV on Instagram, Facebook, any other social media that we're on. Make sure that you listen to the podcast and download on all audio platforms, and you can also listen on Faith Now. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Nice. Anytime we do something like that, that's my official thing. Um, I finished another podcast today. I edited a whole nother podcast today. Um, so I, I'm, you're moving along. I am moving along and it just make it makes me happy that, um, not only has just, I matured, like I've actually like grown up as like looks wise. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I am, I'm loving what this is doing right now. For audio listeners, I'm loving what that's doing. Oh! <laughs> Here. I'm loving what that is doing. <laughs> wow. Um, and, I'm loving what this the, is the, doing the, right the, here. The, the starter stash, I love it. Um, <laughs> uh, let's get that closer. Uh, that's great. Uh, oh. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, but um, point point being, um, not just that, but um, how I've matured physically, how I've matured emotionally, and how I've matured spiritually, um, because like there there are things that I have been able to do that I never like me a few years ago I would have never expected myself to do, like um. I think probably one of the more mature things that I, I have done is, um, is move on to actually do what I'm passionate about. Um, which we talked about this during the adulting episode. Um, and like you as well. Um, Oh, I've done some adult things this past week. You, you, you bought a car. I did Um, buy a truck. You, you bought a truck. I'm sorry. You bought a bed. We, literally last episode we yeah. were just talking about you said i've never bought a bed before 
And <laughs> I just bought a bed. Very nice. What size? That's the question. It's a queen. Because that's that that's the only thing that will fit in the mini cabin. Oh, okay. But eventually it will go into the barn dominium once it gets built. Mm. Barn dominium. Is that what yes. you're gonna call it? I love no, that. That's it's... what that's what they're called. <laughs> barn dominium. Yeah, look up a barn what? dominium. Barn dominium. I'm looking it's, this up right it's like, now. It's like a warehouse. It's like a barn in a warehouse, but it's an actual house. They look really cool. Okay, here, give me just a second. I didn't realize that my computer is or Cassie's computer. I'm using Cassie's computer because my computer is... It went... No, it's telling... There we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> barn dominium is beautiful. Barn dominium. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, that's what we're going to build. And okay. they're cheap, too. There are so many theological questions on my... Uh, Huh. Yep. Oh, that's neat. That's They're cheap. Neat. They look cool. I'm looking at a steel barn dominium right now. Yep, that's what we're going to build. Very nice. Here's the Wikipedia page for barn dominium. I'm making this so difficult for myself to edit. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to actually have to listen to this whole thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got to censor myself once. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, once this once this Brun Dominium gets built, it's gonna look glorious. It's gonna have all the bits and kebabs in it. We're gonna mm -hmm. eventually we're gonna build a gym inside of it. Ooh. Or well, not inside of it, but it's gonna be separate. It's gonna be the garage. It's gonna oh, be a nifty. full gym. It's gonna be beautiful. That's niftier than the fifties. Yeah, it is. Uh. Oh boy. Well, I mm. can't wait to be an adult. Mm. <laughs> yeah it, we, we yeah we've already discussed about adulting about how it just happens yeah there's no like magical like cinderella <sighs> no it's more Here just like a well because like i yeah i think i i've probably said this on the podcast before but when i was in godspell uh which godspell for those of you who don't know is a musical um it is a retelling of the book of matthew right and I am, this was the first play that I was um, in that had a majority adult cast. There was only one person younger than me. And then the closest in age to me, other than the younger person was Teeker, who at the time was 20. Um, and at that time, I believe I was 17 um, or 16, I don't remember. Um, and then, uh, then next, next oldest was like 35. And then everyone else was in their late forties to um I think the oldest cast member was like sixty six at the time Ooh. um it, and there was something that I said about oh man, um can't wait till I'm older and I'm able to understand this or able to put <laughs> this together like this and then there was this one woman, her name was Deborah, she turned to me, it's like, oh Ryan. We are all just, I, I will censor what she said. We are all just bull crapping our way through this. No one knows what they're doing. <laughs> every, every, everyone is taking this a single day at a time. It's all about how you present yourself. If you act like you know what you're doing, you act like you kn know um, what's going on, you act like you've got it all together, <laughs> you'll believe it. And then you will have it all together. That's the best way to do it. If you just treat every situation like you know exactly what's going on, maybe you'll come off as a little bit cocky, but that's fine. It, it's it's mm -hmm. just a thing that you'll have to deal with. Yeah. Essentially, you just got to jump into things. Which You just got to jump into the shallow end head first. Just got to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just... Ooh. I just, I'm wondering if I, you know what? I'm going to tell a story from my childhood. Oh boy, here we go. We're going to call him E.L. I'm thinking. Back when um, you would have never met him, um, he disappeared. He went off the radar. Um, so did. Oh. He was a weird kid, right? We were, we used to, me and my sister, we used to go over to my grandparents um, all the time all the time and they lived in uh hammock bay uh with there's a club there which is mm -hmm. a restaurant 
and like a gym and showers and tennis court and a big yes. pool, right? And we did some summer camps there where there was like a swimming, there was one where there was, there was swimming and tennis and all that. Now there was a kid who lived in the towers. Um, for those of you who don't know what the towers is, if you live on Marco, the three towers that you pass by going off of Marco Island. Mm -hmm. um, there was a kid that lived there and he was just the most annoying piece of garbage Wait, you'd ever meet. And um, what was it specifically that he did? In so I wasn't a very good swimmer at the time. Mm -hmm. I hadn't gained enough weight to be buoyant enough. Um, <laughs> I hadn't gained enough weight to be buoyant enough yet. It's just one of those things. Fat yeah. people will understand. You can't dive. You can't go under the water because you'll just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You gotta have, you gotta be more dense than the water, right? <laughs> um, you have to have a density um, of, of, above one. <laughs> like, um, my my um, density was above one at that point, um, so I, I was always staying in the shallow end. And like he tried like whipping me onto like the the like uh, I I wasn't allowed to go past six feet, right? Mm -hmm. He like ripped me on into there. I'm, I'm like, yell, yell, stop, stop. And like, um, it was one point my um the instructor like made made him like sit in the cabana like by himself for like ten minutes. It's just like <laughs> this kid tried, this kid tried to pull a Keaton and Wesley on me, and you're just making him sit in a cabana. I'm five, and like, he would like intentionally, like um hit in plate when we were on the tennis courts he would refuse to get the ball even when the teacher told him to he'd like refuse all this and the real kicker was when i officially learned that um how to lock a bathroom um door these were the push button ones because these were like mm -hmm. real doors um, where I was changing into my bathing suit after doing tennis to go into the pool. And he started like jiggling the doorknob. And uh, no, the door was locked. He picked it with like a hair barrette. Um, and th just this kid, like he, he hit Cassie once. I don't know what happened to him. I hope he went to military school or something. But I completely forgot about that until right now, which is probably why I told the story terribly. But... He just disappeared off the face of the earth. Disappeared off the face of the earth. Never saw him again. Um, nice. Very glad about that. Eel. What a what a annoying person. Eel. 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 <laughs> oh, I should have called him eel. He was like an eel. Um, oh, okay. I, just, I remember. I remember um, like talking with Cassie one time. It's like we should just trick him into getting into a box, getting him into a box, tape it up, and put it at the airport and have him shipped off to antarctica um, <laughs> <laughs> nice but um you know thinking about that have we told the podcast before about the first time we met when you were in willy wonka we, we even no idea. we didn't even know each other though. we didn't know each other i just think that's so weird just like okay <laughs> I mean, it's not much of a story, but like, I mean, you were originally supposed to be in the first play that I ever was in and you quit for football um, mm -hmm. and then Heidi quit because she just didn't like it. Um, think about what it would have been different. Yeah, life would have been different. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we still would be friends. If we were friends then, if we would be friends now. Probably. Most likely. It's one of those what ifs. I wish I had like um, I don't know. A, a what if machine so I could we, actually like see. Yeah, we well, well taking those different paths led us to uh shaping us to who we were when we met each uh -huh. other. Yeah. And shaped us even more to now. Mm -hmm. So well I th I think 
there's a lot of factors in life we, that we, like what if when we first met we had so much in common yeah um so much in common it was scary we have much less in common now but i think that makes it better yeah like we we have our it things keeps things we, spicy what it says it keeps things spicy <laughs> things are getting a little spicy out there <laughs> um as ryan would say actually as as my dad would say that's a quote from my dad from the i know but movie. after he's after he said that he said uh, as ryan said or something oh yeah 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 oh so you've just recently watched this vlog yeah yesterday i told you oh oh man <gasps> wait mm, so actually vlog I, react we should do a vlog we should watch like a vlog we should do and, that like, for the next next bite size the pick we should the pick about like the glow-ups <laughs> mm, yeah yeah that'll be a follow-up because we've we've talked about we've talked kind of about some glow-ups on here we've talked about yeah. some times that we've kind of gotten angry stuff like that we'll have go An hand in hand yeah, we should have anthony join us for that yeah oh yeah we'll do we'll do um that that'll be a bite size that'll actually or maybe that that should be a full episode yeah it'd be it'll, 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 the gobble goop the gobbly goop <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well so i think i think we're getting ready to wrap up do you have any yeah any closing it's about arguments? that time not really man i just uh you know i hope i get more time mm -hmm. to do more podcasts yeah. you know you know i ha i have something for the audience because i've asked for questions i've asked for stuff i'm <clears> asking <throat> for something very specific this time all right oh what i'm asking for is for us to go over on the next uh episode of bite sized. I want you to tell me your glow up stories. If you can attach a picture of yourself a few years ago versus now. Um, and maybe we'll upload um, something as like some highlights uh, from that. We'll, we'll, we'll film, we'll film this, but it'll be a, uh, an actual bite sized episode. Um, you know? Yeah. It'd yeah. be like, I think that'll be fun. Yeah. And then we can we when we can throw up your images we could be like oh yes the food and the food at home <laughs> he, I want I want some good before and after pictures that we can dunk on like, I, 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 yeah like so um, like we're we're gonna show some pretty some pretty yeah. vulgar images of us what <laughs> as at don't take that in the wrong way <laughs> yeah no we're not doing that but we're, we're gonna we're gonna see some before we're and gonna after. we're gonna look Ooh, even if you have a glow down like I, I, some some dim ups. We've got glow ups and dim ups, um, and we'll have to guess which ones before, which ones after. <laughs> I I, I want to see like those like Weight Watchers type um commercials. Not even Weight Watchers, like Invisalign commercials, I've proactive like commercials. Pants. I, uh, I, I want Weight Watchers commercials. I want Invisalign commercials, and I want proactive commercials. Um, we should do Tristan. <laughs> you know how he was like a Tristan stick. has like three stages. Um, <laughs> there's there's young Tristan. There's there's like twenty to twenty three Tristan, and then there's Tristan now, which are three th like um, there's three different stages of Tristan. Um, you can slowly see how his metabolism slowed down. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Like, um, I love it. Mm -hmm. He still this, looks good, though. I don't understand. This will be fun. So, guys, if you're still listening, which I'll also make an Instagram post about this, maybe even I'll do an Instagram reel because I have made like 20 Instagram reels. Whoa. None of them for us. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all for the actual actual workplace. Um, but wow. with that being said, that's my Red. catchphrase. Uh, guys, we still Red. have hats. If you want to buy a hat, DM me on Instagram specifically. Not that hey. hat. The only reason I'm not wearing my hat right now is because I love what my hair is doing. Um, but uh, I've sold some hats recently. So if you guys want to buy a hat, you can message me. $25 for a hat. Um, follow us at the Pickle Jar Pod. Listen on it. Listen on Spotify.
Listen on Amazon Music. Listen on Audible. Audible. And listen anywhere where you can get your podcasts. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Don't follow us on Twitter. I don't care yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Watch on YouTube. Watch. My name Look. has been Ryan Sullivan. And I have been Keaton Ashby. This has been episode 22 of the Pickle Jar Podcast. Glow ups and blow ups. You the, know what, what? What? The ending song should be. What? The one uh, Taylor Swift song, you know. We'll get copyright striked if we do that. Wait, Sing it for him. It's the um, crap. I forget how it goes. Taylor Swift. Yeah, isn't it? For some Does, reason, doesn't she have a song? Doesn't she? Doesn't she have a song at level twenty-two? I don't know about you, to you but you. I'm feeling twenty-two. Why? Because it's Why a twenty-second episode. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There. It's just Taylor Swift. Song. Anyway, now Daisy has returned, so Daisy, Daisy, been Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been hard over here. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. The 